So how can we make missions in Ghost Recon on Wildlands more challenging? Or at least give them the replay factor anyway? Well, we can go in using no head, no markers, uh, not use the drone, and we can do all this while in extreme mode. But if we want to push ourselves that little bit more, make it more of a challenge, then we can go in and use absolutely nothing at all. By this, I mean no weapons and no gadgets, as well as all the above I just mentioned. I now, there, there are missions that I've come across where it's there just it not possible to use no weapons or no gadgets, but that's not to say that there isn't plenty of missions where you can. I have tried a few missions out Splinter Cell style using nothing but my hands. So in this first Pure Self video, I restarted the La Santeras Chapel mission just to see if I could get through it, not using any weapons or gadgets, and to see if I could complete it undetected. So first job, guys, is to leave your team at the door. Don't want to be taking those in with you at all. Next thing is infiltration. So we are just going to have a look for a viable entry point. And we are in and it's clear. If you look here, guys, I look at the direction in which I will be going, but then switch my camera to 45 to 90 degrees. This is just to maintain awareness of my surroundings and to ensure that I don't get caught out by any patrolling enemies. So here we have our first enemy to take down. He's already on the move, so it's all about speed. Now I did spot that heavy gunner to the left, so he's next on the list. Looks like he's already advanced onto my position though, and we can take him out nice and easy. Spot this guy doing push-ups, thinking he's next on the list. Then I hear something, have a look, and there's a sniper on the roof. So he's just better off left alone. So as soon as I enter the chapel, I check my corners, I look left and right, I see there's an enemy on the stairs, I've got no option but to rush him. This is a situation where you can't hesitate and need to be quick in order to take the enemy down. So as I advance onto this enemy, again checking my surroundings just to see where the enemies are and what they are doing. And it's good night for him. Now I don't risk going out onto the balcony as there are snipers in the area. So I choose to retrace my steps and go back the way I came. Like I said in a previous video in regard to infiltration, the quickest route is not always the best option. So I choose to go back. Now I take a huge risk here by hugging the wall. Sometimes they can see you at this angle, sometimes they can't. I just took the risk anyway though, and on this occasion he didn't see me. Hey, we got a narco by the camp entrance. Now I am pretty sure that we are down to just two enemies. So I'm just going to have a look to see what they are doing. Just to see if one of the guys move and I have the opportunity to take the other one. I decide to drop down here, thinking that the one enemy will move my way so I can take him out, leave me with just the one guy, or he's going to move in the opposite direction and make things that little bit more difficult. As I peer out to have a look, he gets a glimpse of me and moves my way. Which works out perfectly. Only one enemy left in the chapel. I know now that I can rush him without any problems. Okay. Okay, we're still all right. So all we need to do now is grab the Bible and mission is complete. So even though that is done, I'm not going to be happy until I can exfiltrate undetected. So that's the last job to complete. 
Now, unless you've wiped absolutely everybody out, treat this point of the mission the same as all the rest. Check your corners, take your time, and make sure you don't get caught out right at the finish line. I'm just looking for an exit. And that's it, we're out. Mission complete, job done. That is so satisfying to do. The next mission that I will attempt like this, I think will be the military training camp where you have to take out the three instructors. I think that would be a really good one to do. So keep an eye out for that. Any thoughts, drop a comment down below. Drop a like if you're feeling nice, and I'll catch you next time.